My name's Redwig Duveray, we're here at FantasyCon and you're watching Crowd Surfing. All right, folks, it's Farrell with Crowd Surfing down here at FantasyCon. We thought we'd come around, check it out, and see what's going on. And plus, look, they got me a great big awesome chair. I feel like royalty. Like, fetch me the head of a peasant! Holy crap, dude. You're not what? supposed to be on these props. Ah! Not... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at FantasyCon with... Harry Potter. Harry Potter. And Hagrid. Harry and Hagrid, so it's 115 outside, and you've got this get up on. What's that about? Well, you know, you just got to be prepared for anything, so you just you bring what you got to bring. Alrighty, I'm here with... Von Landolf Witkowski. Dunker Ormstanger. So, I will not be able to pronounce those names ever in a million years. It's a simple name. <laughs> it's not hard to... Lando. So how do you miss Dunker? Dunker. Like, like, a, like drunk, but misspelled. Yeah. Oh, see, I was going for basketball dunker. Oh, no. oh basketball hasn't been invented yet, right? Head basket. Basketball. <laughs> I don't have any idea. Head and uh -huh. basket. Yeah. Heads and baskets. Ah. So Saris and heads in basket, yes. <laughs> so uh, when we're <laughs> Artie, I'm here with Agent Pinky. And can you tell me a little bit about what you've got going on down here? We are the Umbrella Corp from the Resident Evil series of games and movies. We are law enforcement, armed security, and retired military. We raise money for the Law Enforcement Memorial Fund, which offers honors officers that are killed in the line of duty. And we have a couple of photo sets and a drawing, and we're enjoying seeing all the people come out. So tell me about uh, the umbrella that's for shade and the keys are for... Oh, the umbrella, well, it's not ev not everyone's supposed to know. It's where he hide me wand and I cast me spells and I'm the keeper of the keys at Hogwarts. So, uh, And that makes sense. And so, uh, Harry, what's with the what's with the goggles there? Um, I always wear glasses every day. Uh, and uh, you've got like a smudge there on your on your forehead. What's that about? It is my scar. So, can you guys tell me a little bit about what it is you're doing down here? Our group is a worldwide organization that is called the Society for Creative Anachronism. We, rep we recreate the Middle Ages pre-1600 and uh, go for all cultures and, and peoples. Uh, my, my persona, for example, is Polish nobleman 1575 approximately, and Dunker is much earlier. Dunker. I'm a, I'm a mid uh, ninth century Norseman uh, living in Ireland. Uh, so, Viking. Yeah, I was going to say like a Viking, right? Yes. Um, of course, corporate would also like to, you to know that there's no such thing as zombies. Um, whether or not there's some unfortunate infected individuals, we can neither confirm or deny, but if we come across them, we will make sure they are contained. What do you intend to do today? Well, we're going <clears> to. <throat> See what we can find, you know, try to hang around these muggles. Maybe we'll take a picture or two. Just have a great time. I'm not up on history, but I didn't think the Vikings were from Ireland. Ah, no, no, we're not from Ireland. We moved to Ireland. We set up a little base there. Maybe a little, it became a kingdom. Maybe you've heard of it. Dublin. I, you know what? I think I have heard of that place. Yes, Dublin. It's, it's actually Norse for dark pools. Oh, really? Yes. So and you guys are famous for fighting and drinking. Uh, yeah, amongst many other things. <laughs> Our barbecues were also very famous. <laughs> Burn first. You guys, it's July. It has got to be hotter than the Dickens and all that gear, is it? And it gets pretty warm, yes, but we have canteens. We stay hydrated and keep safe. I, all I would do is whine about how hot I am if I was wearing that. You know, we just suck it up, buttercup, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do that. So, all right, you guys, well, hey, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for talking with me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, hanging out with Hagrid and Harry and Farrell. Do, do you know who that is? Who is, who is that, That's Moses before he went gray right there. Right? <laughs> Moses before right? he went gray. You know, I don't know. He's a big guy, though, you know? <laughs> well, I... So, so I, I think that Moses had some kind of a staff, and Hagrid has himself a umbrella. 
Well, thanks for talking to us, guys. We appreciate it. Have a good day. Burning villages don't count as barbecue. Oh, oh. Burn first. Burn no, first. No, 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 no not burn first. I always get that mix, mix, mixed up. <laughs> this would explain why you're not as successful a Viking as you might have wished. I'm very <laughs> successful. I'm barren. <laughs> so we're here with Jason and. Oh, okay. So Juniper. So Juniper. Um, I'm just wondering, what's your favorite sports team? Eligible. Artie, I'm here with Chris Hansen. Chris Richard Hansen. I was going to say, because the Chris Hansen I've seen on TV looks way different than you. Yeah, yeah. I've never caught a predator. <laughs> I was going to say, you should run around with the yeah. low lives, right? <laughs> well, it's like a predator. We got a Medusa down here. Yeah, close enough. But Let us introduce these two nice ladies here. Oh, okay. Yes, that's true. This is Baroness Amanda. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Are you Baroness? Yes, I am. And this is Baroness Una. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Oh, don't, don't do it that way. Do what, it right. What, what do I do? Oh, all right. I'm going to try it again. Oh. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> he likes himself very much. Yeah. I have to. No one else does. It's kind of weird. All right, you guys. I can understand. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, hey, thank you for talking with me. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. So something that's cool about the owls, I understand, is, holy cow, that thing is like the exorcist. Look at that. It's turning its head all the way around. Uh, that's crazy. I, I, so, so does it do that all the time? Yeah, luckily she doesn't throw up too much. So, <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you're doing down here? Um, we're doing demos, makeup demos here. We're doing prosthetics. I'm a prosthetic makeup designer, and so we're going to do makeup demos. And I brought a lot of my monsters left over from other movies. This is from uh, Aerostorm Entertainment. They're right there. Uh, Mythica. This is a Medusa head. We also have a monster rat we did for them, a bunch of these guys. Um, this is done on Doug Jones. That was for a movie called Kiss the Devil in the Dark. So that's Doug Jones underneath that. Well, right. his, his head. I anyway. was going to say, really? No. His entire not... body fits in that man. <laughs> He's not a very big man, is no, what you're saying. No, 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 he's not that big, so. He's sleeping, don't wake him up. Artie, I am here with? Keenan Lafferty. Really, and, you know, ironically enough, we have the same last name. How often does that happen, you have two Lafferty's? Uh, not very often. Not what, very often, huh? First name? Farrell. Farrell? Yeah. I don't believe we met before. I don't think so, no. I, uh, my kids actually were down here uh, Thursday, and they took a picture where they're like, Dad, look, this guy's related to us. I said, I doubt he's related to us, but maybe. Yeah, I remember somebody showing up yesterday and taking pictures. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I understand that a unique thing about owls on their wings are the little fingers on the end of their feathers. Is that right? They can fly quiet. Yeah, that's right. When the feathers, they've got extra fluff on them, basically, so that when they're flapping, you don't hear the noise um, as they go through. So, so like a goose, you can hear that thing. It sounds like a, a bomber flying across, but these things are just really, really quiet. And what does that do for him? That just lets them hunt at night when he's out looking for rodents and so forth. They, they don't want to give away that they're coming, so they can fly silently and dive down when their prey least expects them. Do you do this like just as a side hobby? Do this as a living? It's, it's all I do for a living. So how did you come about doing something like this? I don't remember. You just started, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm 46, and I, I was 10 years old when Star Wars came out. And that will just deform your brain. And then you just start building things, and you never stop. So eventually do it for a living. You have no choice. So when you've got something like this with the hair and stuff on it, uh -huh. how much time do you spend building something like that? Well, it, there's a time between what you ought to be spending and what you have to make to make it for the film. And so this was done like within a week. So very frantic. The painting and finishing work was all done the night before filming. But anyway, can you tell me a little bit about why it is you're down here? Yeah, sure. I'm here promoting my free online comic. It's called Emma. It's Little Girl vs. The Walking Dead. And you can read the entire story free. It's 100 pages, full color, all online. Oh, really? And what's the website for that? EmmaComicOnline.com. So, how long have you been doing this? I uh, started about two years ago. I'm just out of, it's like a passion project. I was working for Riot Games for about two years prior to that, and uh, decided to quit that full time and then just give this a shot, so. So, uh, I want to know, Juniper, so did you like delivering mail to Harry Potter? <laughs> She's still I sore. She got <laughs> snubbed from Harry Potter, so. <laughs> how, how'd she get snubbed? 
No, oh, she didn't make the casting call. Oh well, I she wasn't born yet. I I thought I saw her in there, but but those eyes, they're kind of crazy. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. Do a clay sculpture for every one of these. Uh, Corey here works with me, and he'll do like the molds and the molds of my sculptures and the castings and the silicone, and then I'll finish them up. He actually sculpted the horns in this one, and uh, you know, there's a lot of work. I mean, there's. Oftentimes, you'll spend more time cleaning a mold than you will actually <laughs> sculpting it. You know, really? so yeah, there's a lot of labor. So, are you from are you from the Salt Lake area or? Yeah, I'm actually living in Pleasant Grove. Oh, really? So that's really cool. Yeah, I I saw that and I said I got to talk to this guy because you know same last name. It's an uncommon last name. Yes, it is. It's very crazy. <laughs> All right, man. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you for talking with me. Carol, thank you. I said so on the bloody waiver. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. All right, we're, that's not the bloody waiver. This it's, is the bloody waiver. That's, oh, that's the, the email, email list. list. I'm an idiot. I don't. Yeah. All right. This one fell off a log. I think. <laughs> right? They don't call them the unwashed, huddled masses for nothing. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, what's your your favorite one that you've ever done? I, I dig each one on a different day. So, the fact that Doug Jones wore this makes us a real favorite. But I, I don't know. I dig them all. Just whatever happens to yeah. be there that day, huh? I mean, I did this one for fun on my friend Chauncey Hildebrand. And we just did this for a photo shoot because I wanted to and because it was fun. Same thing back here. This is Chauncey. Um, these are photo shoots we've done purely for fun. Okay, I'm here with... Lori Renahan. And... Deadpool! But you have a, a Thor... I stole his hammer. <laughs> It, well, he must not be. Either you're extremely tough, or Thor's not as bad as he thinks he is. A wee bit of both. Is that is that what it is? <laughs> all I can say is that guy's lucky. That he's, I'm not fighting him. That's all I'm saying. I thought you were about to fight me. Oh, I am. Well, I feel bad, bro. I'm gonna go see which weapons we have that are safe for you guys. I don't know anything about that. Uh Pretty macabre, a local dress designer, will do the dresses. Uh, the gremlin was a different gal. She's only wearing rubber in that, so. It's a naked gremlin. Don't look. Yeah, sorry. You won't put that on TV. Yeah. <laughs> All Well, hey, I really appreciate your Thank time. You. Thank you for talking to me. Get you. Sorry. You get Thor to break that tape apart. Oh, my gosh. It's Thor? So I ain't no Thor. Uh, I know. That's why I said go get him. No, no. I'm sure there's a Thor somewhere in here <laughs> with the hundreds of thousands of people in my mind. But, you know. Oh, you, you, there, there's more than one person kicking around in there. Oh, yes. Some of them are crazy. Some of them are scientists. Who knows? And some of them are crazy scientists. <laughs> I probably get rid of my glasses. Oh wait, that might be a strategy. You would hit a guy with glasses. Is that still a thing, or? We try not to hit you in the face. <laughs> Is it all right if I? Oh. <laughs> How come I'm fighting him? Is Chris gonna hold the microphone or what? Does anybody have a blue sword this Jeff can use? One in the back. These guys are out of their minds. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Brittany Holden. And Brittany, what are you dressed up like? I am dressed up as a dark elf. And what does a dark elf do? Look beautiful. <laughs> I, I, I would suggest that would be the case. Yeah, absolutely. I just blew your mind, huh? Mind gone. <laughs> How big does it need to be? So, this needs to cover up Thor's name. Oh, the, the high tech tape to cover up no, Thor's I'm name. Part of this. No, I'm See? Sure Don't oh, there it is. And if you have a marker so I can write my name in its place. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, I will, uh, I will let you go because you're obviously busy customizing your hammer. Yeah. But I really appreciate you talking to me. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. You look like a brave, bold warrior. <laughs> well, right? you know. Thank I got, you, my lord. I got my hat on backwards. This is what we call a bar. All right? Okay. So you don't have to worry about this edge or that edge. You just club me wherever, anywhere but the head. Okay. All right. Here's the rules. Now. All right. Right? You get struck in the arm. You lose the arm, right? All you right. don't have to go way back here. Just kind of let it dangle. All right. Oh, my arm! My arm's been <laughs> injured! That sort of thing. All right. All right. <laughs> hitting the leg, you got to drop. All right? Ah, okay. my bloody leg's <laughs> been chopped off! <laughs> All right. All right. Get in the chest. Ah. With a gut like that. With a gut like that? With a gully? You call me fat. I did teach you in the belly, sir. So it's not my fault I hit it. The sword goes where the sword goes, you know? All right, so stuck in the back, stuck in the belly, you're dead. It's no done. headshots. That's All the right. important rule, okay? All right. All right, so did you get some smurf on you there or what? Sure, I kissed a smurf. <laughs> That's great. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. 
why would you come down and check this out? What's your favorite thing so far? Uh, dressing up. I love to dress up. That's my thing. Uh, every chance I get to dress up, it's, you know, I love making costumes. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty, once again, for the fourth time, I found Moses. Moses, how you doing? I'm Gandalf. Sorry. Oh, 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 I, the pipe, right? Moses doesn't smoke, does he? No, not yet. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about what's going on down here? Um, it's just a fantasy con in Salt Lake City. This is my first year. I just moved here. Um, but it's all... Uh, everyone who loves Star Wars, everyone who loves Lord of the Rings, Dexter, anything. So how we how we get this started? We touch swords gingerly, right? Like right. we proper gents, and we say, "Lay on!" Ah, ah, hey, see, see, yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared right off. So we do a bit of this, right? All right. And then, oh, oh, he oh, he lost the arm. Hold his microphone. <laughs> All right, now swing at me. Come All on, right, don't let this be on one side. Ah! Now that was what I would call a kiss. All right. All right. I could take that if I was a man of honor and integrity, but <laughs> with that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that was a kiss. Oh. So I did, it, well, that was nothing at all. But, so you got to strike me good and hard, all right? Oh, okay, I uh, right. Here we go. Whoa. Well done. Ah, oh, now that was a good hit. He let me leg. do it. He let me do it. No, I didn't keep my leg three feet out there. All righty, Craig, it's your lucky day. I have found you. You're always interviewing the pretty women. I have found you the most beautiful woman that will, well, that will have you, I guess. Right here, can I get you? Hi, Craig. I've heard about you. I want to meet you. <laughs> he'll be he'll be here about an hour. All right. <laughs> I love it. So where did you move from? I moved from Kentucky. And they don't do stuff like this in Kentucky? Uh, not not big. Not big like this. So totally off the subject, Kentucky, are the rumors about Kentucky true? Are people like married to their sister and stuff? Only in the eastern part. Only in the eastern part. It's okay there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now I've lost my leg. All right. All right. Lay on. Ah, that was a kiss. That was a kiss, even though it did not. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. I'm so guy. you've lost the arm. Oh, another rule. Any two limbs, you're also mortally wounded. You're dead. Oh, so if you get that leg, then I'm done. Right, but that was a kiss. Oh, right. ah, come on, come on. You can finish me. Finish me. You have the height advantage. Ah, I am the greatest warrior alive. <laughs> you beat a broken old man oh, I'm thinking like at nine it. in the morning. Uh, <laughs> good fun, I'm brother. Good like fun. Appreciate it. Good fun. Oh, that's awesome. All right, now don't take it easy on this guy like you did me. Okay. All right, here uh, I'm going to beat up I don't know if I want to do it. All right, so I'm hanging here at, at Fantasy Con with Matt from Bright Shots. Uh, Matt with Bright Shots. So tell me what you got going on. Well, these are our lipstick, stun gun flashlights. Uh, a lot of ladies carry, my daughter carries them. A lot of ladies walking at night or jogging carry them. Got a flashlight and then also a, either a 1.5 million or 2.8 million volt stun gun. Okay, 1.5 million volt stun gun. What does that do to the human body? Uh, it burned through my flannel, my t-shirt, knocked me on my butt and left two burn marks on my arm for about a week. <laughs> And in second cousins is. I, I'm not. That's not me. <laughs> All right. Well, not, not to be insulting or nothing, but like your mustache is not saying on. Maybe that's because I don't know. Your parents are cousins. Maybe. 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 We uh, never know. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you for talking with me. You guys have a nice day. Enjoy the convention. You signed the waiver, bro. You have to. All right. So, All right. so remember how we get this thing started? We say lay on. You can start it up. All right. So what do I say? Lay on. Lay on. Lay on. Lay on. No whip butt. Okay. Okay. Right, here we go. Okay. Rule refresher. Hit in the arm, you lose the arm. No headshots. That's our number one most important rule. Um, Not fun. Any two limbs, any two limbs, you die. Chest or back, anywhere in the torso, really, is a death. Okay. Get him, on Chris. Come on, sir. My money's on Chris. All right. Lay on. Lay on. Ah. No. So I was shot with one of those on one occasion. I volunteered, and that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. It's either really tough or really stupid. I did the same thing. It's on YouTube under Lipstick Stun Gun Test, and uh, I don't do it again. So don't screw around with a woman with the lipstick. Nope, not at all. Not at all. And then we also have ones that just the regular flashlights. Um, 
Multiple stun guns. They're all rechargeable. We also have them in kits with a car charger and a wall charger if you ever go camping or leave them in your glove box, okay. anything like that. Alrighty, I'm here with Ben Woodruff. And Ben, can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you're doing down here? Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're kind of promoting the educational programs we do with our birds. We do wildlife programs all over the state of Utah, and so we're letting people know about that and uh, sharing some of our live birds with people. So I would imagine the average Joe just can't go get himself an eagle and have one, right? No, all, all birds of prey are protected by state and federal laws. You have to have permits from the state and federal government to work with them or train them. And uh, that's for the safety of the birds and the people. And she's going to leave us a present. Oh, great. I've always wondered what that looks like. Ah! Oh! I'll take that. I'll take that. Well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Uh, represent. Oh, I fought one of these blokes now. We'll do two on two. Oh, oh I'm down right. for that. So let, let's just say that we had a perpetrator like Farrell right here, and and and, and he's going to come up. Kind of, I I mean, don't don't give him the juice, but kind of show us what you do, okay? All right, all right come over here, Farrell. So Farrell's got to be used to this right now. So 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 show us how this works. So the 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 thing is if. If someone's attacking you and you have a bat or a knife in your hand, the first thing they want to do is take that weapon away from you. If you have a flashlight, they don't think it's a weapon at all. So you have a flashlight on them, now they're concentrated on you, you just come around and... <laughs> Man! Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a uh, Discovery Channel moment here. You might oh, want to scoot back. I can't wait. There oh. we go, all right. <laughs> Which means she'll probably jump. If you're a predator, you don't want to take off on a full tank, right? So. We might have her jump uh, here in just a moment. Oh yeah, I, uh, you know, I. This is hard hitting TV. We saw a bird have a bowel movement. That's awesome. <laughs> Don't step Just in that, Chris. Here. Could put it in a Ziploc baggie yeah. and freeze it. Give it to somebody. So, how much does an animal like this eat? You know, she can eat, uh, you know, a few pounds in a sitting if she wants. She can eat up to that much. Uh, they eat only meat and bone, guts, everything. And so we can't just feed them hamburger. We have to buy whole animals frozen in order for them to be healthy and stay fit. Oh, look, now yeah. Captain America. See? Yeah, we got him a sword. I've got a, strat I've got a strategy for this, Chris. Okay, yeah. Don't even worry about it. Your I got job, your back. Your job okay. is to use these shields. Okay, okay, so you ready? Let's go. I'm wow. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> you guys want to start it up? All right. You got to say lay on, right? Lay on. Lay on. Let's go. Ah, I got you. Will that make you evacuate your bowels? Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, we can go in the other room if don't, that'll help, Farrell. Just, yeah, don't do it in front right here, please. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I better not do that. All right, well. Quit doing that last year. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. You we bet. appreciate it. Thanks. So do they, are they like always hunting or is it just when they're hungry or how does that work? They're lazy like us in the wild. They only hunt uh, when, when they need to. So we have a regular diet. We weigh them with digital scales and grams every day, chart their weight, chart their growth, and make sure that they're not too fat, not too skinny, and they're getting enough calcium. And they'll have a good long life that way. But we do let them fly free, and they get to hunt. But even if they don't catch anything, of course, then they get to still get a guaranteed meal. <laughs> no! Now you gotta take care of his wife and kids because he got Oh it. man, I'm not gonna get a child support check at all, am I? No. <laughs> little monster. Who won that fight? Oh, thanks guys. Oh, it's good fight. I appreciate it. Well done, well done. Well done, well done sir. Alright. That's a note to you kids. Stay in school. Don't take up the sword. So I'm here with a knight that goes. So why do you do that? Uh, it's like I'm a keeper of the sacred word. Neep, pang, and neep. Okay, so uh, what do you got going on with the with the horns there? It's a birth defect. A birth defect. Birth defect. <laughs> That's fair enough. Alrighty, I'm here with Forkbeard. And can you tell me a little bit about what you've got going on down here? Oh. It's a lot of combat and a lot of fun. There's. Uh, 
I don't even want to know all about the show. <laughs> have you have you been out here fighting? I fight with a different group. We're coming up at 1230. Oh, oh really? But you guys go and just have at her, huh? Yeah, we're the hardcore fighters. So if you let them fly free, how do they how do they know to come back to where they belong? They're trained uh, with birds of prey. Food is social bonding. So you're sharing food, you're giving them food. It's not just a snack or a reward, it's actual bonding. And so they know they can trust you. So when they fly free, they know if they come back, they have a, a safe home, a guaranteed meal, and they still get the freedom of a wild bird. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Very cool. All right, well, hey, I really appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for coming out. And uh, what's with the fish? Well, random knights come upon me. I either ask them for shrubbery or they have to cut down a tree with the herring. Okay, so, and then what's with the, with the white picket fence? It's for aesthetic purposes. That makes I, I sense. That makes sense. I can set them on a slightly different scale with a path running down the middle. A shrubbery? A shrubbery. A shrubbery. A shrubbery. A shrubbery. A shrubbery. So, well, thanks for talking to me tonight that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that a lot of these guys, though, they got form swords, but I mean, they really go for it. They don't. And points. Yeah, it's serious stuff, man. All right. You can, like, roll an ankle or something doing that. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen any, like, I don't know if injuries are cool, but have you ever seen any catastrophic injuries? I saw a guy break his femur one time. Oh. <laughs> well, he didn't mess around. That's a good, that's a good injury. Yeah, it was, it was rough. It was really loud. Oh, I it bet. It makes an incredibly loud noise when somebody breaks their femur. <laughs> Oh, it's really, it's really very safe though. You guys yeah. foam sword. Artie, I'm here with. My name is Jill. And Jill, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here? Well, this is Fantasy Con. I love this whole thing. I'm actually a volunteer here. Um, a volunteer. Uh, and when I heard that Vo Fantasy Con was going to happen, I uh, and that this was the very first one, and this is on the ground floor, and then it was highly interactive. I just had to be part of it. So say you're so excited, you jumped right out of the shower and come down. You got your bathrobe and your towel, and finally getting to realize a child life dream. I get a interview in at at. Is that right? A T S T. Oh, an A T S T. I stand corrected. So the A T A T S. So tell us who you are. Uh, Robin uh, Creed. I go by Rib. Um, uh, live here in West Jordan, and I'm originally from Canada. But I mean, they go for it. It's not like you guys are just tapping one another. No. No, the, the, the sport that, I, that I'm involved in, we really fight very hard. Well, you're a big guy. I'm glad I'm not fighting against you. I, you know. Oh, you'd be fine. <laughs> I, I bet. All righty. Well, hey, thanks for talking with me. I appreciate it. No problem. All righty. Well, I really appreciate you talking with me. All right. No problem. Thank you, man. Enjoy the convention yourself. Enjoy your adventure. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know if, why do you guys always get these guys on me? Hey. Here's one, here's one rule I live my life by. You've heard it before. Do what you want to the girl. Leave me alone. <laughs> Tell us about your get up here. I was inspired by uh, some stilts I was given uh, at my old job. They were thrown away and I was like, hey, can I, can I uh, snag those? And they're like, oh yeah. And so I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something with these. And I tried to rack my brain, trying to think of something great to use. And, um, a friend of mine had uh, found a website with miniature models, miniature Star Wars stuff, and, and they were paper folding. And so I was like, I just got to blow that up. And so I blew it up and, and I integrated myself into it and it turned out awesome. It did indeed awesome. All right, once again, here we are with the world famous Moses. Moses, how you doing? Not Moses, come on, get it straight. Get off the white. Oh, well, only one here. Yeah, you are in white. That's why I thought it was Moses. <laughs> You have to get the staff. Yeah, Look you can the part staff. the C with the staff? No, wrong staff. Got oh. the right staff. <laughs> I, I, you're gonna find this shocking. I'm pretty ignorant of these type of things. I don't know how it works. But I do have a question. So I've seen a lot of Moseses is walking around. Is it, is more than one Moses a Mosai? Is that how that works? I mean, it, um, you're not, I'm not quite sure on that. Either. <laughs> I'm here with? My name is Slana Dora. So tell us who you're dressed up like. I am officially crowned last night over at WesterCon as the Queen of Glitz. The Queen of Litz? Glitz. Glitz, the Queen of Litz. Okay, so so do me a, a twirl, will you? Sorry. Show us how it works.
So how many times you've fallen over already? I um, came close a few times, haven't fallen over yet. Knock, well, knock on wood. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thanks for talking to us. We appreciate it. You betcha. So <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about why white is better than maybe one of the others that we've seen? Well, you've got Gandalf the Grey, which is the lesser of the wizards, and then the white wizards are the top wizards. They're the rulers of the wizards to keep them under control. And you've got Soromon who got it all wrong and decided to go the wrong way with it. So you're, you're there to keep everybody in line. Of course. Very good. All righty. Well, hey, I really appreciate talking to me. Thank you. You're welcome. I am here with... Darth Vader. So, Lord Vader, what brings you to, to FantasyCon today? The Force is strong here. It is strong, but where are you feeling it from? The dark side of the force, of course. So, I am here with... I am Black Turtle. I, I don't know how you got your name. Uh, I don't know, I don't understand the black part. Well, they got me too. Yeah. They yeah. wrote it in the script, so... Yeah. All right, yeah. and you're... I'm Henry Kaiser, I'm in the, in the film as well. Uh, one of the three brothers that all play detectives in Detective, Detective, Detective. Detective, Detective, yeah. Detective. It's shown today. Oh, that's, a, that, that's great. So right, right here at FantasyCon. Yeah. yeah. Within FantasyCon, there's FilmQuest, which is the movie festival, and it's just upstairs. And uh, we're shown today, we're up for Best Picture, uh, Best Supporting Actor, and also, I believe, Best Screenplay, right? That's correct. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with... Princess Aurora, Rapunzel, Ariel. And who's this guy behind us? I don't know. I hear it's Jabba. I noticed that there's a lot of your people here, stormtroopers and other things. What are they doing out in fantasy con land? Well, for conventions like this, we consider ourselves bad guys doing good things. Oh, well, that, that makes a lot of sense. And there's a lot of kids that love to hang out with you. Why is that? It is the power of the dark side. It is their destiny. Where did you go to school to learn those incredible facial expressions in your acting? The American Film Institute in Los Angeles, California. Uh, yep. Well, yeah, they're awesome. I mean, I have never seen anyone pull it off like you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're walking down the red carpet. You're about ready to premiere your movie. Who are you wearing tonight? H&M. Uh, uh, okay, well, well, that works. That works. Oh, Do you have a black collection? Yes. And I'm wearing Bonobos, which is an online... Uh, clothes ordering company because I'm too uh, lazy to go buy my clothing. Oh, yeah. and that makes sense. Why would you like someone named Eugene Fitzherbert? It just fits him, you know? Some names, they just work for people and it works for him. Uh, that sounds good to me. And how about you, Ariel? What? <laughs> Jabba's your guy, is that right? Unfortunately, no, Jabba. I'm sorry, but I'm taken by my Prince Eric. <laughs> well, ladies, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, so. have a good day. All right, bye. <laughs> Well, there you have it from Darth himself. And, uh, Farrell, what do you have to say about Darth? It's Darth Vader. I'm not going to say anything bad about Darth Vader because he can make trouble in our... Yeah, see? Just look. Yeah, I got a sample of it. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us, Darth. Thank you. Remember, give yourself to the dark side. Well, I wanted to come out to a special event. You know, I knew it was the red carpet. There would be some fun things to do. So I went to the Super Target. Rather than the regular oh, Target, yeah, I went to the right. Super Target. And, hours. Uh, absolutely. With the grocery. Did you get almond milk? Because they have really good almond milk. It's almond milk. Yeah. The sugar or sugar-free? What do you Sugar-free all the time. Sugar-free. Every day. Well, yeah, it shows, too. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. You bet. Well, it's nice to talk to these guys. Great luck. Thank you. Best of luck with your movie premiere. And keep up those acting lessons, man. You can pull it off great. Thank you very much. Thanks for really having us. That. We appreciate it. Thanks. Cheers. All right, well, hey, I've got to run, but I, I found somebody who can who can take my place. So if you don't want to just finish doing the rest of the show. Sure. There you are. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Craig. Whoa. Hey. Uh, this is my gig, okay? Oh. This is what I do, not you. This is what I do. Now, horn out, okay? Oh. There you go. <laughs> Farrell, get out of here. Go home and shave. <laughs> First time this month. No, 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 no. Come on, back, back, back. Oh. I'm so sorry. I hurt your feelings. This is, a, this is all I have in life. I mean, this is this is it. This is all I've got. You can't take it from me. I'm so sorry. I don't have cool piercings. I'm sorry. That I don't have it. I don't have a Viking hat. Nothing like that. So what? So first of all, what brought you out? 
Um, I, I like partying. I like fantasy. Everything from Star Wars to Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. So I heard you over there on the other in the corner just a few minutes ago, and you had one of the best beatboxes I've ever heard. It's not that good. Well, <laughs> so, so we're going to let the crowd be the judge of that. So rip, rip a little ditty yeah. off for us. <laughs> All right. Data, it's good to be with you. What brings you out tonight? A transporter. A transporter. That's great. So what do you have here? This is Spot, my cat. So what are you learning here at FantasyCon? I'm learning a lot about ancient Earth history. So I got to tell you, this is really fun. There's a lot of freaks in ancient Earth history, isn't there? There are many people. We appreciate their diversity. Tell me who you are. I'm Jess. Yeah, and, and you're volunteering down here. What exactly are you volunteering to do? I'm a dragon trainer over here. A, a dragon trainer, really? What's that all about? Uh, we train people to fight dragons. Is that, what this, is that what's going on right over there right now? Yeah, do you see those guys with the like fake swords? Yeah, yeah. Those, it kind of looks like a father and son duo right now doing the dragon training. What do you think? And, and there's a girl, too. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, behind that banner and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my money is actually on the father. The best character so far, Data from Star Trek. Anything else that you have to say? Any wisdom that you've learned? Live long and prosper. And there you have it, right from Data himself. Thanks, Data. Is this a fun thing? Oh, yes. Yeah. And are you in a character or just, just kind of the way you're dressed? I'm just like this normally. Well, Vikings. You watch Vikings on the History Channel on Xfinity? I don't. What? You should. Uh, do you know how good? Seriously, do you know how good that show is? I, I've heard. Because you could, you could watch and you could. Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to tell people, people you're Lagertha, okay? Uh, who's that? She is one B.A. lady that is a Viking on that show. Okay, I will right. tell people that. So you're Lagertha. That's pretty good to me. Thank Thanks you. for talking to me. Hey, big boy. It's good to see you. It's, it's, it's been a pleasure. All right, yeah. Okay, <laughs> have a good afternoon. <laughs> we're stalking each other. It's an endless cycle. You know what? If you were stalking me, I, would, uh, I wouldn't call the police. I would probably call a nurse and get you a CAT scan because something, <laughs> something, something would be majorly wrong with you if you were stalking me. Probably. I'm probably a little cuckoo right now. Yeah. yeah. For those of you just tuning in, everywhere I go, this girl is there. And I am so embarrassed because I don't even remember your name. It's Vanessa. Vanessa. That's right. I do remember Vanessa now. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Garnish. So, Garmish, what's your, what's your deal? What brought you out today? Well, the Dark Lord wanted me to be out here. So, um, did you get your nose broken or what? It got cut off in a war. So, I'm here with... Rorschach. Will. So, tell me what you're dressed up like. I'm Rorschach from Watchmen. Do you, have you ever read the comic book Watchmen or seen the movie Watchmen? Well, if I remember, your face is all weird yeah. and stuff runs all over, kind of like it is now. Exactly. He's a sociopath, and uh, he goes around basically, he's a vigilante and just beats up uh, troublemakers. And he doesn't follow anybody's rules, and uh, he, uh, he kills people, which is great. So Vanessa was at Comic Con. She was at the other Comic Con. She was at the Renaissance Fair. She's at Fantasy Con. She's like at the Rotary Club. I am probably. I am probably just the soul of every convention in Utah. Yeah. So explain your character today. Um, basically the same as last time, but I decided to do um, a little more on the less vampire side, but more on the um, more of a mortal side. Like, oh, she just lost her powers, and so. Trying to act like someone that's normal, it's kind of weird in yeah. cosplay. A war with whom? Nasty elves, of course. Those nasty elves are always nasty. They think everything under the sun is theirs. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. So where can we find those guys? Are you looking for them now? Oh, yeah. And when I find them, it'll be war again. So uh, what's your favorite thing so far at FantasyCon? I like all the tasty foods and uh, battle. Uh, uh, all right, and you're? 
Uh, I'm as a custom Mandalorian. This is armor that I made myself. And I'm uh, here with a group called the Mandalorian Mercs, and we are a charity costume organization. We all have armor similar to this, and we go, to, go around and partner with charity organizations to raise money. Oh, that's pretty cool. So uh, what's your favorite thing so far at FantasyCon? Oh, I've seen the dragon that breathes water onto the knight with the shield, and uh, I lost my mind as I fanboyed out. It was amazing. Acting normal down here would actually make you stand out. I know. This is the only place that, like, in the world that if you were acting normal, people would go, wow, what a weirdo. Yeah, it's just basically going to Comic-Con and not dressing up or okay. wearing a Phantom T-shirt. Okay, so where am I seeing you next? Probably Comic-Con again. Right? The one that's coming up in yeah. September? I'm going to do something a bit more bigger than this time. Really? Yes. Last time you had those fangs that were kind of like, yeah, yeah, they're coming out of your teeth I and still everything. have my fangs, but I took them out because they were kind of hurting a bit. Yeah. But next time I'll still have my fangs and I'm probably going to have a bit more, my hair will be a little more silver, yeah. my costume will be more elaborate. So any advice for the people who haven't come down today? What are they missing out on? The time of the Dark Lord in their life. They better get here, because it's incredible. Thanks for talking to me, I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Well, to be honest, this is actually my first um, cosplay event. My friend has been gone to years and years worth of events, but uh, he got me into this, and it truly is. It's, it's really fun to be a part of it, fun to be a part of the people dressing up. You get pictures with all the families, you get pictures with all the kids. Uh, parents can come with their kids and, you know, do some kind of cosplay where there, it'll be a small child and then a bigger child, like a Bioshock. There's Bioshock where you can have a little girl and then, like, a big old dad, and I've seen that. I am here with... Ari, Morgan, Kristen, and Nick. Okay, so tell us your, your characters. Uh, we are Alice in Wonderland costume characters. So, so which one are you, Tweedledee or Tweedledum? Which one? <laughs> I'm Alice. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> and uh, she's the queen of hearts. Stop smiling. Yes. yes. Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter. Okay, Vanessa, how old are you? I'm 18. You're 18, okay. And how long have you been doing this kind of stuff? About three years now. About three years, okay. So here's, here's my question for you. Why would a very beautiful 18-year-old girl spend all of her time doing this? Because there's nothing else to do at home. <laughs> you hear that, guys? She's available. I am available. Wow, there you go. Man, I'll tell you what, if I was half your, if I was a third year, if, if, if I was a lot younger <laughs> and rich. See, this is not a wig, Vanessa. This is the real thing here. If you're ever in doubt, go monk, right? That's the point. No, go bar bar. Oh, bar bar is so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> you get to scream and yell and smashy smashy. Okay, so 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 let's have a uh, barbarian scream off then. Okay, so so I'll start, and let's just see if you can beat me. All right, you ready? All right, let's let's do this. Ready? Rawr! Okay, he won. That's Thank good. You. Hey, Thank thanks you. for talking to us. <laughs> hey, no problem. <laughs> okay. So, what inspired you to come tonight and dress like Alice in Wonderland? Well, we're amateur cosplayers, and we just love to dress up. Same. Uh, it's actually one of the very first costumes I've ever done. So, yeah. Oh, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Uh, just love of being nerdy and having fun. If you're a geek, this is the place to be. All you geeks out there, why aren't you here? Why aren't you with Vanessa? Why? Why aren't you here now? I sure would be. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just ruined her lunch. It's okay. <laughs> well, Vanessa, always great to see you. Nice to talk to you. Nice we'll see you at the next one. I know we will, too. I know. Yeah. I will see you there. All right, good deal. Hope I don't get arrested for that.